how to create a striped checkout page hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial today i am going to show you how easy it is to create a checkout page for a specific product into stripe it is very easy and very simple all you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go the first thing that you need to do is to head over to stripe.com then you are going to visit your dashboard uh, with this step, you need to set up your uh, information or your sign-in details. So after you have said that, you're going to see here that we have our dashboard, which is on the test mode, of course. Now we are going simply to head over the product catalog. This is the first step. Then we are going simply to choose one of the products that we have. Now, as you can see, we have some products, but we are going to see here how we have made them. So as you can see here, we have the product catalog. We have a lot of products. If you don't have any of these products, as you can see, in my case, I have created these products. If you don't have a product, you're going to click on create product and put the uh, information about your product from the pricing, the billing period and the images description and etc. After you have said that correctly, you're going simply to visit the payment links. We have here at the shortcuts, we have payment links, or you can go ahead here at the header top and at the uh, right corner at the top, click on create or the plus button. We have online payments, invoice, subscription. We have payment links and payment. We're going to click on payment links. With the payment links, you're going to get here a, um, the select type as you can see window or drop down menu you are going to select here product or subscription here we have the payment page which is the checkout of course and we have the after payment which is the thank you page so right here we need a product that's why i told you to create a product so we are going to choose one of the products i'm going to choose maybe this sony headphone uh, so we are going to put the quantity. We are going to put it only one. So we can go ahead and let the customers set up the digit or right here adjust the quantity as much as they want. And you can also add another product if you are going to uh, here sell a bundle. You can go ahead and collect the customer addresses. And this is very vital for some future campaigns. And you can require uh, to provide a phone and number, which is very, very uh, set and very good for some SMS campaigns right there. So after that, you're going to see here the after payment. You're going to see the confirmation page. You can show the confirmation page and replace default with custom message. Right there, you can add a message. And you can also connect or split the payment with a contacted or connected account. And here we have the post payment invoice. You can go ahead and create an invoice PDF. This is, as you can see, Stripe charges 0.4% of the transaction total up to the maximum of uh, $2 per invoice. So this invoice will not be free, but you're going to be charged uh, with the uh, invoice at the final price. So when you finish that, you're going to click on create link and boom, here we have our checkout link ready. So you are going to see that this is the, uh, as you can see here, the link. So we can get a buy button instead. You're going to create your checkout as a buy button. Then you are going to copy the code, put it as a card or a button like that. You're going to see the preview and, uh, uh, go ahead and set it into your uh, website. So I'm going to copy the link, go ahead and paste it right there to the navigator. I will let you see here the checkout page. And here we have the checkout page. So that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.